Hey everyone, Blazehood here, coming at you with another Naruto Shinobi Collection news update. Alright, we have this banner out right now that has um, some units coming out in the future and right now. It's between the February 2nd and February 5th. And the first two up are uh, this birthday Naruto and the uh, pain that came out with Conan. So, um, and you have a 4% chance to get them. Like every singles or multis, it doesn't matter. And then uh, February 5th between the 8th. We have the uh, Tentails Jinchuriki Obito and the Ceiling Naruto that came out with Nar was Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura on the banner who fought Kaguya. February 22nd through the 25th, we have Kakashi and Obito. Not Kakashi, Obito. Kakashi and Madara, my bad. Sorry. And um, I don't know why you have this Kakashi on here when this 7th stage one does way better, but you know, whatever. Who cares? Do whatever you want. He won the election, so fuck it. Who cares? And... Um, yeah, I guess something's gonna come in between that huge gap after Obito and Nar no, Obito and fucking um Oh fuck it, I don't care. Obito and whoever else was like there. I don't feel like going back up. Naruto, there it was, stealing Naruto. <laughs> and uh here's the units right here. I already have both of these, so I'm not gonna summon on this banner. And then um yeah, if we go to the um, premium mileage shop and go to the tag part part of it, um, you can go to the day thing right here and uh, use your tags from your multis to get these battle items, but I've already bought them. So, um, yeah, I guess we can, um, yeah, we can't click on them. So let's go back to my box. Well, not my box, but my ninja tools box. Same, same difference, same difference. Potatoes, potatoes. And uh, see what they do. That one's for Obito and Naruto. I think it increases, reduces chakra, increased chakra by 50% in HP. And then uh, skill damage and attack or something gets buffed by 50%. I forgot exactly what the translation was, but uh, yeah. And um, this one's for the uh, Madara and Kakashi. I think this increases HP and skill damage by 50%. And then this one just increases all skill damage by 50%. So yeah. I guess these work out good, like, you know, more and more ninja tools are going to come out in the future, so, you know, if you, um, you know, you can get new ninja tools, you're moving around ninja tools and shit, you got something to put. Those are good, like, uh, placeholder ninja tools, I guess that's say, something to use them with. Here's the banner right here, and then, um, you know, a single is a 4%, and for your first multi, it's 4%, and then all the 5 stars right there are 96 percent so yeah all those are crappy pretty much and um i'm not summoning on this banner because i already have these units like i said and you could click on the tag part right here to jump straight to the tag shop and um yeah i'm not gonna show their super attack because uh, not their super attack with their ultimate same difference ultimate youtube because i've already done showcases on these units and um, there's pretty much no point. If you want to see what they do, just go to my channel and watch their showcases. They're going to hit for over a million. And, you know, spoiler alert. Here's the new event right here to farm some gear for them if you don't have any gear. So, um, yeah. And if you do have gear, if you do have all these gears, I recommend still farming it just to get dupe gear. In case, you know, they're going to make another six pass in Naruto and, you know, another freaking pain. So you might as well just farm the gear for them. And uh, here's the characters you need to take on the mission to, um, you know, boost your points and boost your damage and stuff like that. And then um, up here is the Mieto Kushino event. And um, you click the question mark and um, here's the um, Obito you can get. You need to, for to get Minato's gear, you need to score in the top 1% in the rankings portion of it to even get this ninja gear, which is actually not difficult if you have a lot of ramen and you have this Minato and the necessary points to uh, get up there and um, I think what it does is all for three turns all chakra recovery is zero and for nine turns all skill damage is buffed by 80% I think that's what it says but I'm not exactly sure and then Kushina's wristband I think that just boosts attack and defense by 100% or something like that then um, her little hair clip I think this is her hair clip yeah and then uh, I think this is HP is something by 100% I really don't care and then uh, this tag right here gives you all these free-to-play units right here. I think I don't I don't have this Ren. Yeah, I don't have the Ren. So um, it look, our card art looks cool. So I guess I'll take that if I can get it. 
but I've, I've already used two of them and I keep getting that Naruto and I don't want him anymore. So yeah. <laughs> All right, let's jump into the Minato one. I'll probably save the um, other Naruto event for a video tomorrow. And um, I'm trying to look for this Minato that does the space time Jutsu for a teammate because um, the Obito and Madara that you fight in this event are weak in space time in Jutsu. So it makes sense to take this Minato. And uh, we're gonna change up our team and boost our points. This is the team we're gonna run with and uh, yeah, I think that Minato is more points. Yeah, this Minato is more points. 2.8. Okay. We're going to run with this team. And uh, this new Minato is a beast. Because like I said, he replaces the um, old Minato. The old body Minato. So, um, yeah, he's he's great. Because he does whatever he does, but better. And he, re um, his, he makes all your allies immune to skill damage. Which is just freaking broken. And um, it's not, it's not, um, he doesn't make you immune to fixed damage. So let me say that he doesn't make you immune to fixed damage, only um, all skill damage, but not fixed damage. So yeah, keep that in mind. And then, um, yeah, he pretty much is just a beast. He hits hard in this event because uh, the event multiplies your damage you do, and he hits constantly. And um, since he's hitting constantly like this, I don't think I'm going to put. If I do score in the top 1% and get the um, his his gear, which is pretty much just his half of the Kurama's chakra, that's what that black orb is. And um, that, yeah, that black looking orb, I'm gonna just give that to the birthday Minato that I got, that uh, one armed one. I'm gonna give it to him, seeing as it, um, you know, it reduces chakra for three turns. It reduces your chakra consumption to like zero for three turns and boosts your skill damage. Uh, he's hit, he's gonna, since this Minato hits frequently, I'm probably just gonna like, you know, just not get worried about his skill damage so much seeing as he's gonna be hitting constantly. He'll make up for that difference in damage as opposed to the other me birthday Minato that um what the fuck? Why are my points so low? Hold up. I just realized what I did. I took that old Minato and put him on my team instead of my other Minato. So now my points weren't boosted to like the 32 point something they were supposed to be at. Do I feel like running this event again? Oh my God. That was a flop. I wanted to boost my, no, I gotta play this again. I gotta fix this. I have to. So we're gonna run this one more time and uh, we're gonna see what my points look like actually because I just realized what I did while I was in the middle of my conversation. But anyway, yeah, back to what I was saying, the B-Day Minato, I recommend putting the um, Kurama Chakra item that you can get and put it on him, seeing as it boosts skill damage. And you, I'd rather boost skill damage on a unit that doesn't attack as often, rather a unit that attacks constantly, seeing as he'll make up for that damage since he's attacking more consistently than, you know, that Minato. That's, that's just my take on it. That's just how I choose to run it. You can do whatever you want with it, like I said, but that's my one piece of advice. Seeing it, if, we, if a unit has higher cast speed, don't worry about so much damage. Output, just worry about chakra consumption. Seeing as you want him to keep attacking constantly because he'll make up for that difference in damage as opposed to like a unit who doesn't attack as often, but um, he hits, it, but when he does hit, he, you know, he hits like a fucking truck. So it, it, I just, that's my take on it. Tell me if I'm explaining that right. I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but tell me if I am in the comment section below if it makes sense. You know, high cast speed, don't worry so much about the damage. Low cast speed, worry more about the damage. Because last thing you want to do is have a slow unit that hits like a freaking flower. So fuck that. We're not doing that. And uh, yeah. And uh, as for the B Day Naruto and all these banners that are supposed to be coming out, I'm probably not going to summon on them. Seeing as, I have, seeing as I have all the units. Except, like I said before, the um, Tintel Jinchuriki Obito. Makes no sense for me personally to summon on it. And I'm damn sure I'm not about to summon on it just to get some fucking um, Nindo increase and skill damage increase when we have tickets and scrolls to do that. Fuck that, I'm not doing that. Obito, I'll get Obito when I get Obito. And I'm damn sure I ain't about to, you know what, rec I recommend don't even summon on this fucking banner. Seeing as they could come out next week with like an EX banner. And then, um, yeah, you're gonna feel like you wasted your stones. But that's about it for this video. This has been your boy Blazehood. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that bullshit. Don't summon on this banner because the EX banner might come back with all the gods and seven stages and stuff on it. Like my previous videos with the step ups and stuff. 
do not stumble on this banner. This has been your boy Blazehood. Peace. Don't forget to like, comment, share. I already said that bullshit. Bye.